Howdy folks, it's Kato again with another third party Transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at Big Firebirds EX01 Plus Mocha, or Mocha, depending on what part of the world you buy this thing from. This is their heavy retool of their Nice E that came out last year. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. We're going to roll the intro and get started. It's like always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging, and Big Firebird knows what it's doing. They know how to how they're marketing this thing. There's the front of the package. There's there's nothing to say about that other than there they are. On the side, you get a shot of the vehicle mode. On this side, you get a shot of Mocha or Mooka in her robot mode and on the back you get this nice shiny look at mocha in a few different modes you can take the backpack off you've got her prancing around with some stuff on and then full mocha mode the two different head sculpts the vehicle mode and that's about it let's see what's inside the box First up, you get a good set of instructions, and I say good, but not great. This will get you through transformation, but if you did nice -y, then you probably know how to transform it. What it doesn't do is go over everything you can do with the accessories, and honestly, I don't even think I'm going to be able to go over everything you can do with the accessories, but I'll give it a shot. You get a sticker pack if you want to make her more of a race car look and add some more sponsored type decals to it you can do that i don't think i'll do this but we'll see and you get plenty of playable accessories and i'm going to go through some of these now just real quickly to let you know of course you have the cockpit this will double as a shield uh, this piece can help be formed together with the spoiler and a couple of pieces of her backpack to form a weapon that i probably won't do because I, I just don't want to take it all apart to do that. I don't, I don't like that idea. You have her shield. You have some bunny ears that will also go on the back of the spoiler in alt mode. This piece clips onto the back of her shield. This is actually how she holds it. You have some eyeglasses here, shades, a couple of swords, adapters here to make the swords go onto her forearms or form one long uh, double-bladed sword. You have a three adapters here that I honestly have no idea what they're for. I'm just going to have to play around with it and figure it out. This piece, I believe, helps make it a longer sword. I'm going to have to play with that and figure it out. You get an additional head sculpt, and we'll take a look at this head sculpt real quick here. It's just a more metal face with the hair down below her eyes, and you can see the spots there for the bunny ears if you want to use those, and it just plugs in on a ball peg. Just like Nicey, you get a pair of squishy boobs to swap out with the more metallic looking ones that come on it. You get a slightly less splayed out hand than what comes on her. You get two trigger finger hands. You get a thumbs up hand that's, I think, really good for holding the spear. And two closed fists. You also get this thing, which is one of the nicest accessories in the bunch. It's an umbrella that is a spear, like a javelin or a lance. And it's just a closed umbrella with some nice translucent pink throughout the center there. Very cool little accessory. I really like this. Favorite weapon in the bunch, easily. Real quick, I wanna show you how to build a few of the weapon accessories. So you have the sword, which we'll take a good look at here. It's really great looking with that hot pink, black and silver, done really well, but you use these pieces here to clip onto here, if I can get it in there. Ugh, I hate the idea of messing this paint up, but you can see how that does. You do the same thing to the other one. And with both adapters on the sword, you have, let's see, you have this piece right here and slide those little round adapters on and it allows you to tab these together to make a double-edged sword just like that now with each individual one there's a peg right here that you can peg right onto her elbow 
you don't need me to show you that. I think you're probably pretty smart. You can figure that out. That way she can have two swords on her arms if you want, or one longer double edged sword. And one thing I didn't show was her little bunny tail that just clips onto her hips. If you look at the intro, you can see it just tabs on right there. These two pieces are separate. They just plug into the base here. Now there is one thing I'm probably not going to do, but if you take these pieces off here, their own little ball joints, and you can combine them with this piece and I think, uh, and the spoiler and you can make an arm cannon for her. I probably won't do that. I think it's kind of silly, but a nice option if you want to. And that takes us right into Mocha herself. Fantastic looking figure. Very, very cool first impression when you open this box up, just like with Nice C. But in my opinion, this one outshines her immediately just because of the colors. Love the black, silver, and hot pink. It's brilliant. Before we get too deep in, I want to show you that you can, even though I probably will not, there is a C-clip right back here and one below here. You can pull this whole backpack off and this can become, I think nicely use it as a bow and arrow or a bow. So that can come off. And then, like I said, these pieces here come off and you can use it to uh, form like an arm cannon. I probably won't do that. I kind of like how this looks, this winged look looks. You can pop this off, turn it upside down, and have these facing the other direction. A lot of stuff you can do. I just don't like the idea of putting that much pressure on those C-clips. And the little bow tie that she has here wants to move around a lot, and it just sometimes gets out of place and doesn't look right. It's just wrapped around that ball joint. But let's get a good close-up look at Mocha. Head sculpt very similar to Nicey with green eyes. You can see the 01 plus there on the forehead and this tiara across the top with the green gem in there. Now this will pop off and that's what will allow you to put the shades on. Uh, it's, it's very simple. This upper piece from this pink over to here pops off. Pop the shades on, pop that back on. Again, I won't insult your intelligence by assuming you can't do that. You've got a lot, a lot of paint. You got translucent plastic here. You got a painted bow tie in there. All this is paint. Some nice tampo coming down the chest and abdomen. Silver, hot pink, silver, hot pink, and silver coming all the way down to the plastic, soft plastic fingers and hands. Hot pink all the way down here. Hot pink across the hips. A nice little heart there on her crotch region you've got nice right there on the thigh you see the wheels back here coming down hot pink heels and a couple of stripes there on her shin and ankle area the back you've got a lot of kibble again if you want you can take all this off and have her stand there just like an action figure she is a shell former so you don't need any of this for robot mode but i kind of like how it looks looks more like a transformer that way wheels at the back you can see the silver booty uh, some die cast in there you got a little bit of hot pink here on the back and back down to the heels articulation her head is on a ball joint so she can look up some down some side to side some wobble and of course 360 her arms can rotate 360 they'll come up uh, you can get this out of the way and they will come out straight by getting all that out of the way you've got rotation at the upper uh, shoulder you've got just over 90 degrees of elbow bend and the interchangeable hands on a ball joint you've got a bit of upper abdominal crunch on a ball joint here with some waggle and not i don't think there's any at the lower abdomen so some movement there and rotation at the upper abdomen, no rotation at the lower. On the legs, you've got drop down hips that will let you get the legs pretty much straight out, uh, more than straight up, more than straight back. Rotation at this joint right here, which you also need for transformation. You've got a nice knee bend and a nice piston in here that slides out when you bend the knee for just over 90 degrees you've got plenty of ankle tilt and rocker 
and rotation. And the heel will go in and out, uh, mostly for transformation, but you can move that around if you want. Lots of good articulation for this, even though there's a lot of kibble in the way. For a quick size comparison, there she is next to Big Fiber Nicey, and you can see there's a great bit of difference between the head sculpt of the two. Uh, most of the body mold remains the same, just repainted. Uh, the big difference is going to be the head sculpt and the alt mode once I get on both there. And just in case you don't have Nicey and you want to know, she stands about seven and a half inches tall to the top of her head, uh, just below eight to the top of her backpack. Now in her alt mode, to me, this is where she shines and this is probably where I'm gonna keep her. I love this alt mode. I loved it from the original pictures I saw and having it in hand definitely solidifies that. The kind of the, I, I keep saying that it's black, but this almost looks like a really, really, really deep purple and then the hot pink. Let me tell you, the engineering is leaps and bounds better than Nicey. They've fine-tuned some stuff, things fit together better. It's still not a fun transformation, but it just works better. You've got the nice spoiler there, the bunny ears on the side clipped in uh, to add to the spoiler. Nice, all the little details, tampo details in there. Such a sleek looking alt mode. I think they could repaint this as a Batgirl and turn this into like a Batmobile for her. This is a gorgeous car mode. Translucent for the headlights. The cockpit will open. It's a pain in the neck because there's no real way to do it. So you just kind of pinch, pinch, pinch right there and then get a nail in there to open this up. And you can see the detail inside the cockpit. Did I say pinch? Oh, my redneck came out. You've got a blue translucent cockpit that can fold around to the back there if you want to leave that open. A lot of cool stuff. It just looks beautiful. Rolls really well. Um, you can see underneath she is a shell former and uh, she's just tucked in there doing stuff. Looks fan. Fantastic. I mean, it's a complete vehicle once it's done. And while it is a shell former, you still need the bot parts to complete it. So not completely a shell former. I would, I would say, oh, bunny ear popped off. I'll get that back on. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave her in alt mode. And for a quick comparison, and the only comparison that really matters, there she is beside Nicey. And you can obviously see they share the same mold, but the closed cockpit, the finished front fender rather than this. I know that what they were going for with this, but this being an original car, original character, I think they nailed it. And to me, this is by far a better figure than Nicey is altogether. So there you have my review of Big Firebirds EX01 Plus Mocha or Mocha. I'm going to call her Mocha. 
And like I said, I didn't even want to change it back to robot mode, not because it's not that fun, but because I love the alt mode that much. That's how it's going to stay. The colors are beautiful. The transformation's kind of a pain, but it's nothing you can't figure out. Just some kibbly bits and parts that just need to line up exactly right, but we're all used to that by now. Again, the colors on this thing are amazing. I don't think I'm going to use the extra stickers and the accessories are going back in the box because like I say, she's staying in alt mode. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far and haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this out there to your friends. Subscribe to the other Rejecticons at Sardin News by 82, Larkin Slayer, and Inu Tabi. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato.